Right, here's an idea I found on YouTube because um, I was looking for like lizard traps because I made this one out of a tissue box and it just didn't work out. Um, but I think this one will work pretty good. Um, basically what you do is you get a water bottle uh, or a soda bottle, whatever, two liter, right? You cut the top off, right? And then um, see all the holes in it and stuff? So this is the top because I'm going to basically set it down like this. This is the top. And uh, so there's no holes in the top. But I put the holes not for air, for the lizards, because um, they'll get plenty through the seal on the the seal on the lid because it's not like it's sealed airtight but basically bear with me I'm doing this with one hand but basically it pushes down into there like that right and then um, hold on a second okay so it pushes down into there like that right and then you set it down um, and you put bugs in it and stuff, right? And so basically it's clear so the lizards, they can see, you know, all the bugs and stuff that would be in there. And so they get attracted to it, obviously, because of that, right? And so um, they'll try to find their way in, and eventually they'll find their way in through this hole, right? And when they go in, they'll eat the bugs or whatever they're going to do, right, while they're in here. And then they'll come try to come out, but they'll come out try to come out throughout all these little holes, and they'll also try to come out um, the way they came in, but they won't figure out. Most of them won't figure out to come back up through there and get out, right? So, what? Uh, this is kind of a multi-purpose thing too. So I put holes in it because I'm basically building a uh, minnow trap as well. I saw something that looked kind of like this as a minnow trap and um, it's almost the same exact concept um, basically you put this down into the water it sinks because of all the holes and you put some bread or something in there whatever they'll eat right and uh, it sinks down in here and they'll swim in they'll swim right in but they won't think to come out that hole again and so you can trap trap minnows and so I was thinking about my buddy Josh um, uh, I was thinking if he's going to do, if Josh, if you're going to do that black soldier fly composter, uh, I know some people might think it's cruel to get fish for it, but that'd be free food for, I mean, your chickens would probably eat the fish too, but I don't know if it gives it a fishy flavor or what. Well, I don't know about chickens. Um, but I was thinking you could feed the, uh, the uh, black soldier flies the fish, um, and then also, um, I don't know how many lizards you have around there, but I, I live in a city area. So, um, and we don't have a lot of lizards in my backyard, but they take care of the pests for you. Almost solely, you can use just the lizards to take care of the pest, um, which would mean you don't use any kind of pesticides or anything in your garden. And it's something to kind of keep around and have hanging out. So, yeah, lizard trap slash minnow trap. Um, slash any kind of thing, I guess, that would try to get in there and get any kind of food. Uh, I think the squirrel would be too too small to get in there, right? You would think. Anyways, um, post your comments uh, down, down there, or your uh, uh, subscribe right up here, right in this area. And uh, there's a link to our Facebook page right over there. Uh, so, thanks for watching, God bless you, and uh, have fun. See ya. Alright, so here we are, the library park, and we are here to try and catch some lizards uh, with our lizard trap. Slash minnow trap. Lizard minnow trap. Lizzo trap. Anyway, we're going to find some bugs and bait it. And then we're going to set it up and set it to where you guys can see it. And then we'll come back and see if we got anything. As you can see, we got a bunch of roly polies in here. And um, hopefully the lizards will see this. And they'll just be like, is it food? So we're going to try to find a spot for it. And we'll get back to you. All right, so here's our lizard trap. We set it out and we walked around the park. And what do we got? Trip out. 
got ourselves a lizard in there. And what is it? It's a blue belly. Hey, let's go up here. Come here, Ryan. All right, let's see. Oh, try to get one? He's probably checking this guy out. Well, there you go. It works. It's a pretty sizable one, too. All right. Blue belly lizard trap slash fish trap. Uh, it works for the uh, lizards. God bless.